Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Monty Mole on the C64 Mini. Um, I'm not looking forward to this one, I've already played it, um, and it's... What happened? Seriously, the, the Spectrum version was a crash smash, it was an absolutely awesome puzzle or platform clay, game for climbing up and down and collecting bits and pieces, sort of akin to... Uh, Jet Set Willy or even Manic Miner with the, with the way it was doing it. In fact, almost a combination of the two, you know, Manic Miner being the, the first one, which is a room by room, and then the the, the Spectrum sort of version of the the, 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 the the Jet Set Willy where you combine the two, so because he's a, he's a miner, obviously, wanted Monty Mall. Um, uh, winter's coming anyway, and he basically needs um, a bucket of coal to, to and, and he needs to keep him nice and warm and collect various things. So, can he find worms to replenish his energy? I'm, I'm gonna put it on. I, I'm. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if anybody's got fond memories of this. Do put it down in the the, the comments. Um, if you've ever played the Spectrum version, though, you'll look at this and you'll go, "What happened? Really? Honestly, what happened? It, it, it's not. It's not uh, sound of you know. The music's fine." Yeah, I mean the music's fine. It's great that way, but graphically, I, I don't know. It just doesn't. It just doesn't seem right. It was like the two were created in isolation, which is actually possible, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, here. So here's our first level. The Spectrum version had this acorny bit as well, and then you. Oh god. I think you grab this bucket from this guy here, and then he gets upset and he chases you down the mine because you need the bucket to collect the the things. And it's like got numbers to the rooms, but I mean, and what's with the what's with the noise? Oh, uh, it just doesn't. It's not a platformer. R.I.P. Yeah, really. I know. Oh god, I'm so disappointed for the Commodore version of it. It just—it's just, it's just a, such a shame. I mean, the the machine itself has the potential to to create s such stunning games, and then you get this, and and it's just—it's full of horrible noises and and. Green and brown graphics, and I, 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 you know, I, I don't like to be down on games. I like to try and give them the, the benefit of the doubt that they'll be quite good or whatever else is. But honestly, you happy with this? I'm not. Oh, I can't even get in it now because it's no, oh, I haven't I didn't blocked it completely. Everything's fiddly. Everything, all the gaps are fiddly. Everything getting through it's fiddly. There's nothing unfiddly about it. And there's plants and death traps everywhere, and then you just fall to your death, and you do that. Oh, I'm really sorry. I mean, I, I know that the, the developer of this has gone right many other games, and, and but I, and I don't think this is an ex a good example of his work. I'm sure, um, but oh, I don't know. We at Gremlin Labs have produced the most exciting platform game ever. Have they? Really? <coughs> it's been written over a three month period and we hope. Sorry for the sneezing there. We we'll hope it, excite, it uh, will excite you for, the long, for even longer. But remember, it's not just a platform game. It's. An adventure. Yeah, you know something. It's almost like you're reading your own words there to, to kind of you know to boost it up. Oh, I mean, there's. Oh, so you have to collect the book here. Then we get one point for doing that. Then we go. And you see, I like the way that, and they've got these numbers on it, which are to represent the rooms. I think. And you're meant to be able to jump between these things, I'm guessing. And then there's all these horrendous noises. And look, there's a thing that says end there, so that's where we get to the end, I guess. And then we go down here. 
What's this? And I picked up a box. No. 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 Oh gosh. What happened? Seriously. I'm just totally trapped in there by the way. I can't can't work out how to get out of there. I'm gonna take it back. I bet it's not fondly loved this one, and if it is, I'm I'm, I'm surprised. Oh, well, there we go. Managed to make our way out of it. I mean, that look at that bad guy. Seriously, is that a bat? It's a face with ears. My gigantic elephant-style ears. Ah. Oh. Oh damn! Oh no! Oh. I'm not a big mole fan. All right, I'm not a big fan of the, the moley games. I I don't mind them. I think they're all right, and I'll play them. But I'm not a big fan. It's one of those games that never struck me at the time. I I think you have to be the. Uh, damn it! Got to jump up that. Have I died again? Is that it? Are we all over? Is it all? Is the pain over? It is. I'm gonna play one more time, but I can't. I can't. What is going on? What happened? Oh, it's so disappointing. You could have even you could have even cloned the Spectrum version with the high res graphics and just and just just gone with it, you know, and said to hell with it. we with this is what we're gonna do. Not not. Yeah, you could have done. Oh, damn, come on. And what is with the numbers? If that's the levels, it's kind of embarrassing, really, that that's how, how they've decided to numberize it. I've played games before that are this kind of crazy. There, I certainly remember Brainache on the Spectrum, um, and that that I have about 20 copies of, by the way, out of interest. But, 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 because nobody wants it. There must have been like loads made and nobody wanted it from Codemasters it was. Um, but it, where you had to kind of go down it and it was very busy like this. I'm extremely busy. Lots of things going on. Lots of bits on the levels and all this kind of stuff. Um, and, and hello, my name is Tony. Tony telling you to beware of the above. Above what? Yeah, okay, what if, oh you mean the the, the 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 thing on the ground? Oh my god, what is this? Right, okay. Well, anyway, sorry, what was I saying? I was uh, yeah, brain aches really, really busy. It's the level is busy, the whole the whole um, thing is just just a mishmash of things and, and combined with colour clash it, it it looks pretty horrendous. It's not the worst game in the world I've played, um, but but it's not it's not amazing. So um, now we got now we got a maze bit by the way in this. Um, it's not amazing, but this is the same sort of thing. It's all very confused. It doesn't doesn't know what what it's doing. Um, oh my gosh, we've got an entire maze going on here. Beware of the above. Why? Because I'll be lost in it for like ever or something like that. Please don't make me lo lo be lost in here forever. I think I'm going back on myself in the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Alright. Okay. Was there a maze section in Monty Mall? I don't think there was, you know. This is the first time I've ever played a maze section in a Monty Mall game. Hey, you're out. So that wasn't exactly the hard maze that it was suggesting it was. So, we're out. I went up the other side of the, the hill thing. Oh, I've died because the floor's electrified. Well, what a what a shame. Yeah, Monty Mole on the on, on the C64 Mini, um, and probably on the C64. A dreadful, dreadful um, uh, experience, that is. It's not much fun at all, I'm afraid, um, and I'm surprised I've even played it as long as I have. I've tried, 
I've tried, I really tried, I mean, I've, I really tried to like this one, but, but, it's just not good, I'm afraid. Anyway, um, I've been your host, um, Real Genetic Demon, I promise there'll be better ones on the way. Um, <laughs> please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.